roll for sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I'm going to be using these jade color dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. First up, let's roll for bread. Two wheat bread. This is a very light wheat bread, but it'll do. Starting off pretty basic today. Next up, let's roll for our main. Five pepperoni. The last time I had pepperoni on the show, it was the sandwich slice. I love pepperoni. So I, I ain't gonna lie. Next up, I'm let's big roll on for pepperoni. Cheese. Three queso fresco. This cheese is a mild, semi-soft cheese that's usually crumbled, but I'm gonna leave it in some larger chunks so it doesn't all roll off the sandwich. Though not the same it. as mozzarella, it. it has kind of a similar flavor profile. So getting this with pepperoni is a pretty good roll. I want it. All right, let's roll. This is our a fire ruffle. sandwich so far. Double elevens, none. If I had a nickel for oh. every time I've rolled double elevens and gotten no roughage, I'd have two nickels, which isn't a lot, but it's weird that it happened twice. Next up, let's roll Wild Magic. Two, ice cream. Well, the day has finally... Dude, I ain't even gonna lie. I thought this was gonna be the best sandwich that's ever been made. Why is this on there? Come to put ice cream on a sandwich. I've had plenty of time to think about how to go about this when I actually rolled it. I'm gonna do plain vanilla just to give this the best shot of actually working. What I attempted to do here was to make sort of a slice of ice cream, like the middle of a ice cream sandwich, rather than make a big scoop of ice cream to just plop in the middle of the sandwich. And I had a little trouble, but I eventually got it out and assembled it into sort of a sheet of ice cream. This way I should get some ice cream in every bite of the sandwich, for better or worse. Hopefully we can finish making this before it melts. All right, last but not least, we have the D20 sauce roll. Please, no ketchup ice cream. No. 17, Coleman's Mint. Oh, mint no, sauce? dude! They made, they made mint ice cream! F From the UK is traditionally eaten with roast lamb, but we are anything but traditional on Roll for Sandwich. It's not really sweet like mint candy. Dude, honestly, honestly, it somehow became even more dead. It's actually got a vinegar base, but honestly, I think that's gonna be okay here. Fun fact, my least favorite type of ice cream is mint chocolate chip. I knew I liked this dude. I knew I f***ing liked this dude. The mint people, the mint enjoyers are, 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 are hipsters. They're awful, they're the worst. They, 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 they scream about how night, how good the mint, uh, the mint uh, uh, Girl Scout cookies are. Meanwhile, the peanut butter and chocolate peanut butter ones are right there, by far the best ones. And there's always new ones every year that are really, really good, and they always get discontinued because all people do is buy the stupid mint cookies because they were told and they they like eating toothpaste. I I I, I have gained le utmost levels of respect. That is least favorite is mint chocolate chip. Mint ice cream. Well, let's go ahead and get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together and let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Oh, left a pepperoni behind. You know, I've seen worse. Well, this is bound to be an interesting one, but these kind of sandwiches are why I do the show. Let's give it a taste. Oh, that is, that is very interesting. Honestly, I'm kind of shocked. The pepperoni, the mint sauce, and the cheese kind of bring the sweetness of the ice cream into balance. I would never expect this, but I'm gonna call this good. In fact, I'm gonna go as far as to rate it a 9.4, and I'm gonna call it the frozen pizza. Just goes to show you never know till you try. You know what? I kinda understand. I kinda think I understand. Remove the sauce, the mint. I actually think I understand it. The salty with the ice cream? I, I kind of right, understand it. Today. Come back tomorrow. I'm not, I, I'm not, I'm just saying. It sounds like one of those don't knock it till you try it type things. You know what, you know what I'm saying? For a special episode. Good I'm just saying, I'm just saying, don't, don't, don't shoot the messenger. Good afternoon, D&D, &D, TikTok and beyond. And welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today I've partnered with the upcoming film Dungeons and Dragons Honor Among Thieves to help celebrate the upcoming release with a superb owlbear party. I've stacked my lists with tons of game day favorites so we can make a sandwich worthy of the What big is day. the CGI on this? What is that again? It's an owlbear. <laughs> so without further ado, let's get to it. What in the f is that? First up, let's roll for our bread. 
Movie sponsors, nice though. Hot dog bun. There's been a lot of. Okay. I have a conf I have one of the deepest, darkest confessions to make. When I was in college, I ain't gonna lie. There was a lot of times you could get a, a six pack of hot dog rolls for like a dollar, like a dollar and six cents. I would sometimes buy two or three packs of hot dog rolls, and that would be like my 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 in reserve food. And I you could customize it. Go peanut butter, butter. Jeez. There was so many things you could customize with. It wasn't the best, but it did the damn job. A lot of debate in the comments lately about what constitutes a sandwich. And sometimes putting it in the microwave for like 15 seconds and make it really soft and hot and like kind of, I want to say mushy, but it was like squishy was like another way to, to change it up. And I ain't going to lie, it helped get me through college. Sandwich. So I have to ask now, is a hot dog a sandwich? Next up, let's roll for our main. 11, roll twice. All right, rolling for two mains now. That's eight buffalo wings and nine bratwurst. Just gonna remove the bones from a couple of wings here and place what's left on our bun. Wait, do you get leftovers? Wait, what? I'm um, hang on. Next up, let's roll for our main. 11, roll twice. All right, rolling for two mains now. That's eight buffalo wings and nine bratwurst. Just gonna remove okay. the bones from a couple of wings here and place what's left on our bun. I'm actually about Take it. The hot sauce from the wings and the pepperiness of the bratwurst should pair well, giving us an unorthodox but tasty main. I don't know about Next the up, let's roll for cheese. bratwurst. I've actually never had bratwurst. Three, cheese tray. What's a party without a cheese tray? We're gonna rate it here for some pepper jack, Colby jack, Asiago and sharp cheddar. Looking good. Next up, let's roll for our roughage. One sauerkraut and seven tomato. Mm, I like I've had sauerkraut. Some not so great sandwiches in the past that included sauerkraut, but that was Bavarian sauerkraut, which is sweeter. And I think this will go well, especially because it's with the bratwurst. Definitely think this is best case scenario for sauerkraut. I'm no stranger to tomatoes in a hot dog bun. I like my Chicago style hot dogs fully loaded. So I don't see any problems here, except maybe the problem of having to get this thing closed eventually. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. Okay. Eight, Chex Mix. <laughs> I watch the game without salty snacks, and why not put it on your No sandwich? shot. This will give us a nice crunch, which will be great. Also, dark ride chips are the best part of Chex Mix, right? Yeah. No. Last but not least, it's our D20 sauce roll. Eight, French onion dip. All right, this is a little bit of a curveball, but I can see it working, especially now that that's. What, is, what do you use there. French onion dip cool with? Chips? I don't nice remember. To the spicy wings and I haven't had French onion dip now in forever. It's like a chip it. dip, isn't it? Let's get our toothpicks in to hold it together as best we can here. And let's get it cut in half. Let's take a look at that cross section. All right. All right, well, if you serve this sandwich at your own party, make sure you include a lot of napkins. Low-key, doesn't Let's even look that bad. Give it a taste. Yeah, this is good. The meats blend well together. I like the crunch from the Chex Mix. I don't even really taste the sauerkraut. Maybe I should put a little more. Why is he more. blurring out like the NFL logo? Of party food on a bun. Not a bad sandwich. I'm going to go ahead and rate this one an 8.3. Oh, because it's an ad. It Dungeons and Dragons Bratwurst Among Cheese. Thanks for coming to the superb Owlbear Party. I'll see you Monday. Good afternoon, D and D Tick. Uh, it's an ad. It's sponsored. You're true, true, true. Good afternoon, D and D Tick Tock and Beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich. This year, definitely sponsored. It's because of the sponsor. Lunch. Let's go. Today, I'm using these blue and gold glitter dice that were sent in by a viewer. Thanks. Let's get started here with our roll for bread. One gluten-free white bread. Small bread in the middle of my plate. Small bread. Those are not small bread. I mean, that's not me. bread. That's croutons. Seven, garlic bologna. What? I'm pretty sure. Oh, hell no. One slice of this bologna is bigger than both slices of bread. <laughs> That's all How right. How would you we'll get it garlic flavored bologna? Next up, let's roll for cheese. That's got to be worse than Five, the pickled bologna. Swiss. I keep ending up with wholeless Swiss cheese, so I've decided to take matters into my own hands. <laughs> this is actually kind of satisfying. I'm not going <laughs> to lie. It's like a take and bake pizza, except it's <laughs> punch your own whole Swiss cheese. Next up, let's roll for roughage. <laughs> four pineapple and uh. five pickled carrots. Oh, Ooh, pineapple I'm not a big pineapple before, guy. It's been a while. Obviously, fresh pineapple is great when it's available, but right now I have canned. 
Pickled carrots are a new one for me. They're a little crunchier than your typical cucumber pickle spears, and the brine doesn't quite penetrate them as much, so they're a little bit lighter on the dill flavor, and a little sweet, because carrots have a little more sugar. All in all, not a bad roll, and I think they'll pair with the pineapple pretty well. We'll see how everything else works together. All right, let's hit it with some wild magic. Three crispy onions. Crispy onions, or french fried onions, as they sometimes are called, are a nice garnish or topper for casseroles, Ooh. salads, and other foods. We'll add some mm. salt here and a little bit of that onion flavor, as well as some crunch, though we got mm, a lot of crunch. I'm, I don't on. know about that Last one. Last but not least, it's time for the D20 sauce roll. Don't let me down, Jack. 11, pesto. Hold on a sec, just gotta get this in this envelope. All right, where was I? Oh, 11, pesto. Pesto is a paste made from basil, nuts, and oil. I love pesto on pasta, on pesto on pizza. I've had pesto on a sandwich before, but not with these ingredients. We'll see how it all comes together. Thank you, Alexander. Appreciate the thousand bits, Let's get buddy. our toothpicks in to hold it together. And let's go ahead and get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. Interesting. Well, we've got a somewhat different color palette today than usual. Very fall earth tones. Let's see how it tastes. A little juice there. All right, this one's interesting. It's uh, not bad. The pineapple and the bologna are kind of a good matchup with each other. The onions aren't doing a whole lot. This is the first sandwich on this gluten free bread this that one. I really struggled with the bread. There's just not much to distract from it. This one's a pretty solid 5.1, and I'm gonna call it not the best dough. Thanks not for hanging the out best today. though. Okay, I'll kind of like day. that. I'll see you again on Wednesday. Good afternoon, D and D, TikTok, and beyond, and welcome to Roll for Sandwich, the series where I let fate decide my lunch. Let's go. Today's episode of Roll for Sandwich is sponsored by the Chop and Stick Cutting Board. Dude, it's he gets so many sponsors. He's killing it. I love it. Neat cutting board comes with a detachable magnetic knife block and a four-piece charcuterie serving set. It holds your knives securely while not in use. And the knife lock even has a divot on the top to hold your phone or tablet for displaying recipes while you cook. I would it's not nice trust that board. with the magnets. Like one for yourself, check the link in my bio. All right, let's get rolling. Red, four, freezer ends. My freezer ends today are a couple pieces of Italian bread, lightly toasted. Next up, let's roll for our main. 11, roll twice. All right, rolling again for two mains now. That's nine turkey and 10 chicken. Okay. And so I get double meats, but I literally roll the things that are the most similar on this list. I have some oven roasted turkey chicken, deli pretty good. chicken here, followed by some oven roasted deli turkey. That's what the dice gods want, I guess. Not bad. Next up, let's roll for cheese. One, no cheese. Ooh. Oh boy, no cheese. It's tough. Why don't you come back now? All right, let's roll for roughage. Five pickled carrots and six sugar snap peas. Pickled carrots for the second sandwich in a row. At least they're tasty. That oven roasted chicken can tend to be dry. I don't so know if I'd like that. Pickled, pickled carrots. carrots will help with that. And a little I'd be open to it. Welcome. I'd try Flavor it. Otherwise, they're about a seven out of 10. So on track for a decent sandwich, at least. With the peas, we're adding kind of a little bit of the same thing with more crunch and a little bit more sweetness. Next up, let's roll wild magic. Eight chicken salt. Chicken salt is a popular seasoning used in Australia to add both salt and savory notes. I guess chicken my chicken salt. needed to taste more like chicken. All right, and last but not least, it's the D20 sauce roll. 10, yellow mustard. Yep, just your basic classic yellow mustard. This should pair fine with both the meat and the veg. We've already got vinegar on the pickled carrots, and now we've got some vinegar in our mustard as well. Let's get our chicken salt, good. All right, let's keep going. Let's get our sandwich put together here. Get our toothpicks in to hold it together. Let's get it cut in half. And let's take a look at that cross section. All right. All right, almost nothing here is my favorite, but I don't mind most of it. Let's give it a taste. Yep, that's a chicken turkey sandwich. Not that I can tell the difference. Definitely, definitely could have used some cheese. That would have bumped this up a few points for sure. Pretty inoffensive. Pretty middle of the road. The road. Yeah. That chicken salt's tasty. I'm going to go ahead and give this one a 5.4. That's a and little low, I think. Birds of a feather. I don't think it's Thanks that bad. Stick for sponsoring it wasn't anything episode. crazy, but it wasn't that bad. And I'll see you again on Friday. I think, it's a, I think that was a little unfair. Good afternoon, D&D &D TikTok.